This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this video, I'm going to start a new series on WebDriver IO because uh, around 15 videos we have already covered in JavaScript. So I thought of starting JavaScript based framework tools. And my first choice is WebDriver IO. Later on, we will talk about Okay, we'll more talk about uh, Nightwatch, Connector, Codecept, Puppeteer, and all. But first, we will learn about WebDriver IO. It's very interesting, very popular nowadays, and a lot of companies they are using WebDriver IO. So, what is WebDriver IO? So, WebDriver IO is nothing; it's just a custom implementation of Selenium W3Z WebDriver API. So, whatever the WebDriver API that we have, on top of that, they have created a custom implementation. They have created a custom wrapper and they have given this name webdriver io but it's written in javascript okay and packaged into npm so you have to and it's running on node.js server so you need to write your script in javascript and you have to install it through npm you can package it through npm and then you have to run it on node.js so you should know javascript for that okay now let's talk about main important features of webdriver so WebDriver IO is a good automation tool which can automate both web application as well as native mobile apps also. This is a very good advantage. If you don't want to use APM, you can use WebDriver IO. It provides a lot of custom implementation, a lot of custom methods and everything. And it's very fast as compared to a typical Selenium WebDriver. So it supports both web as well as native mobile app. Has simple and easy to write syntax okay you can easily understand you can simple write and then that's not a big uh, deal over here you can easily write it over there it has integrated test runner which help us to write asynchronous command in a synchronous way so that we don't need to care about how to handle a promise to avoid racing conditions means to avoid the wait condition or sync issues we can directly write asynchronous commands over there in a synchronous way so you don't need to write any proper uh, uh you know unnecessary dates over there and all those things i'll tell you when we cover webdriver io what do you mean by this asynchronous commands in a synchronous way and all those things but uh we can easily handle the synchronization over here in webdriver io it's very easy to set up easy to write so you don't need to write explicitly write all the time implicitly wait or explicitly wait and and uh, uh, sync issues are happening and all those things a uh, lot of things has been improved have been improved in webdriver io then it has its own wdio wdio means webdriver io setup wizard which makes our project setup very easy so it will give you one configuration file and this will be the heart of the framework heart of the project and then you can easily configure whatever you want i want to write let's see retry logic or take the screenshot or a before test i want to execute and okay everything you can write it over there and then it will be very easy within within a second you can set up your entire project like that okay good thing is we can write if you really want to write your own javascript functions easily that also you can simply write it so we have full liberty to write the javascript functions over there then it provides one test runner also comes with a variety of hooks that allow allows us that allow us to uh, interfere into the test process in order to example take a screenshot if any error occurs or modify the test procedure according to a previous test result and it's very easy to configure that i'll show you you don't need to write a separate logic for that that's a configuration you just need to maintain inside the test runner and the runner will execute your test cases and whenever there is a failure automatically it will take the screenshot if you want to let's see provide the retry logic for the failure test cases and everything easily you can configure over there like that okay so that also we will see and WebDriver IO services will be helpful to integrate a test to third party tools like APM. So it can easily be integrated with APM as I told you, as it supports uh, mobile and native application also. So these are the basic uh, guys uh, advantage having. It's having good uh, community support also, okay, from the market if you stuck somewhere and then easily you can get it. And if you're coming from Selenium background, you can learn a web driver io that's not a big problem but you should know the basics of javascript that's why i have already covered uh, 15 sessions on javascript guys please go for it look into it and then and then only you should start the web driver io right now uh, 
there is always question that okay we have web driver io is available we have a, a protector is also available nightwatch nightwatch.js is also available there are a lot of uh, tools are available in the market so these are the three important tools are available guys so i have this comparison list if you see protector web driver io and nightwatch so we know that okay protector came okay from the beginning that okay yes this is the, i think that was the first uh, js tool okay for selenium on top of uh, web driver javascript they have created this particular wrapper and uh, we were all using it then web driver io came night watch came puppeteer came okay nowadays and code js is also there and cypress is a different category it's not coming from the selenium category so there are a lot of uh, tools are available but these are the three important tools that we will talk about i mean we will talk about the comparisons so if you see the architecture wise between protector web driver io and nightwatch protector is a wrapper around as i told you web driver js selenium web driver node module there is a on top of that they have created the custom wrapper and they are using it web driver io is a custom implementation of w3c web driver json bio protocol so on top of that they have created one as i told you implementation of the selenium w3c web driver api and it's written in javascript okay so they have customized okay a lot of uh, uh, web driver uh, apis and then you can directly use them but ultimately internally it's web driver only nightwatch is custom implementation of a w3c web driver json wire protocol so almost uh, same with respect to web driver io and nightwatch but protector is nothing protector is a pure wrapper around web driver javascript slaney web driver or uh, node module right then browser support almost uh, all the browsers edge chrome firefox safari opera html unit phantom js all these different uh, browsers supported by all these three tools then angular specific locator strategies especially with angular application whenever you see any angular js or angular application protector was there right whenever we see any ng module ng ng selectors are there or any uh, uh, angular js based uh, uh, locators are there it is purely a uh, use protector is purely used for that that's why protector came into the picture then uh, if you talk about web driver io partially supported by adding web driver js angular node on model only web driver only wait for angular has been implemented so far but here in nightwatch it can you know, it's not supported but still we should be able to automate angular js application as selenium does just like selenium java does same thing we can do it same thing we can do it with web driver io it's only that okay we have to use the proper css or xpath with that and we can do that but protector is dedicatedly used for uh, you know angular based application inbuilt test runner all these tools are available in bit test runner so that's why like it's a yes for all the tools supported testing framework yes jasmine mocha cucumber jasmine mocha cucumber mocha and nightwatch is having its own inbuilt framework when we talk about nightwatch later then we will talk about it but all the uh, popular tools like jasmine mocha grunt chai and all those things are supported by okay with both the tools then reporting point of view it's having its own j unit xml reported protector html screenshot reporter jasmine spec reporter is available here we have allure reporting you can simply generate the allure jasmine spec reporter j unit xml reporter cucumber reporting also you can simply do it over here and it's having only j unit xml reporter and watch reporting is available so reporting wise it's also it's also almost same and it's having more uh, good example with respect to reporting in in web driver io parallel execution is supported by all cloud execution you can easily integrate with source labs browser stack testing board okay without any problem so they support uh, for all the different cloud executions are available in the market mobile support that is the good thing that uh, protected the problem is it's having the partial support it supports mobile browser but does not support any native app mobile browser we can support we can automate but this is not possible with respect to okay protector but uh, web driver io is having a very good advantage that it can be easily integrated with the uh, okay with the uh, apm as well as it can automate your android and ios native apps same thing with nightwatch also synchronous execution yes this is a beauty that uh, we don't need to maintain any uh, weights over there no uh, racing condition handling the simple it all supported by all these three tools page object model pattern yes obviously we can write the page object model pattern different uh, 
you know, page objects we can create, page actions we can create for the each and every web page and all that we can do that. Continuous integration like Jenkins and all. Yes, we can do that supported for all the tools. Retrying flecky test. If any failure test cases are there, you really want to uh, do a retry automatically. It is possible just a configuration. You can easily do that. TypeScript support. That is something important. TypeScript is, is top of uh, on top of JavaScript. That's a wrapper that is more, uh, uh, you know, I would say find JavaScript uh, language is available that is called TypeScript where it supports a lot of object oriented programming concepts and a uh, lot of good things you can do in, okay, just like we do it in Java and C, C Sharp. Same thing, we can do it in TypeScript. And, but Protector is having the full inbuilt support. So that's why a lot of people in the industry, they are using Protector with TypeScript, not with JavaScript. Although you can use it with JavaScript also, but, but with the WebDriver IO, we have only possible when you are using CodeCept JS. So we can easily use JavaScript also. That's not a big deal over here. And uh, TypeScript support is not at all available for, uh, okay, for Nightwatch. Then additional feature that, uh, yes, Angular application support. And it's having very good thing that CSS regression testing using WebDriver CSS NPM package. That I'll tell you later when we cover about, you just need to install this particular package that CSS uh, regression, a WebDriver CSS NPM package. So you can easily, okay, do a CSS handling also over there, but it's not there any extra support, I mean, any extra features available in Nightwatch, okay, in this category. So this is, these are the different comparisons, guys, and uh, you can simply uh, have a look. And now I'll show you that, uh, let's talk about, you simple type WebDriver IO, and this is the official site, WebDriver IO, next generation WebDriver IO uh, test framework for Node.js. So this is the logo, you can see that. And it's saying that next generation web driver test framework for node.js. And there are a lot of features are available that uh, adding helper functions or more are complicated sets and combination for existing commands in simple and very easy way. Compatible with the, uh, you know, first class support for the web driver specification as well as to APM and allows to run test on desktop and mobile. That is really great, okay. Protocol a command that provide useful integration with other tools as well. Easy to set up. It's very easy to set up. In the next video, I'll tell you that okay, how to set up the web driver IO in your uh, visual code. And additional support is available. And then there are a lot of good features and uh, script, as you can see that it's written in JavaScript over here. It's easily integrated with API tools also for your uh, for your uh, you know UI validations and everything. That also you can simply do it. And if you really want to go to their help, logs are available, guides are available, APIs are available, you can check it over there, like that, okay? And uh, if you really want to see there, I think uh, you need to go to their API docs. So all the different commands and everything is written over here, you can have a look. So I'll tell you how to use it and uh, how to write the right script for the uh, web driver IO. But you just keep an eye on this API docs also if you're stuck somewhere. You can simple come over here and you can check what exactly the meaning of this. Let's see what is touch action, what is upload file, how to do upload file. So you click on upload file, you see that, okay, yeah, this is the code that we have to use for the upload file over here like that. So the documentation is really great and uh, it's a great tool. I am I'm really liking it. So that's why I thought of creating this entire series. So we will be doing this. And then if you really want to use and you can add it in your profile in your resume and it will be a great value addition. And then with this, if, if you're learning a next tool like uh, Protector or uh, Nightwatch or Cypress or any other tool, it will be easy for you to learn those tools as well because now you will be comfortable with the uh, JavaScript as well, right? So that's all for this particular video, guys. In the next video, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be showing you that, okay, how to install WebDriver, how to set up WebDriver IO, okay, in your visual code. So we will be using visual code as an editor and then I'll show you in the next video. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you really like this, the introduction about uh, the WebDrive IO, please subscribe to the channel. Please share this video with other others so that uh, okay, others also can get the advantage. So thanks for watching. Thank you.